In today's video, we're going to review this Blue Yeti power station. All right, Blue Yeti power station. I reviewed several power stations in the past. Um, I like this unit. I like this unit a lot. It's not perfect, but I love it. It's great. So we're going to go over the specs really, really quick. And then I'm going to give you some pros and give you some cons that I found with this unit here. Um, this thing's amazing. It's got a 600 watt AC pure sine wave inverter built into it. It has 260 watt hours of capacity. Um, it charges in eight to about 80% in 30 minutes. It's got fast charging built into it, which is amazing. So I think what we'll do is kind of start on the outside and then we'll work to the inside. So starting on the outside, we'll start right here at the top first. One of the things I love the most about this thing, this is a 15 watt wireless charger spot right built into the top of the power unit. I have not had one like that. I can set that on there and bing, my iPhone is charging. Got to activate the DC side to activate the pad on the top. So it will only be hot up here with sending power to it with the button pushed on the DC side. So without that, this won't be hot. I absolutely love that feature. On the top here, we also have an integrated carry handle. It's very lightweight, very small, easy to put in a vehicle, easy to stack with multiple things around it. Um, and it's compact enough. I think you could put it in the front of a car between two seats and you could actually work off the ports if you needed extra ports in your vehicle. Um, pretty handy. Now let's go around the outside. We've got air inlet holes and output holes on the sides. It's got kind of this cool little graphic on the side. So we got air in and air out on the back, completely clean, which most of them have their 120 uh, connection back here for household AC to charge in the back somewhere. I like that they have it in the front. That is definitely a pro. So let's go around the front. In the front here, we have your 12 volt standard, what we used to call cigarette plug, your power plug. For all you kids that remember cigarette lighters. Uh, right here, you've got your 120 household current that charges it here. You got a little breaker switch right here. If something were to trip, you can reset. You've got your typical 12 volt bullet plug that plugs in here that can run out from your 12 volt cigarette plug, cigarette plug to power the device and charge it up that way. So you can charge it on DC, charge it on 120 AC. And over in this section here, you have two 120 um, outlets and that is a 600 watt AC pure sine inverter. Most of them are coming that way now. You've got a handy little flashlight here that is kind of nice. Um, yeah, you know, flashlights, you either love them or you don't. Um, don't see myself using this one. It does have kind of an SOS flash built into this one. The Blue Yeti has this beautiful screen here and if we go from right to left on my side, I've got my input here on one side. I got my power percentage on the next in the center and then I have how many, whatever item I have plugged in, it's gonna do a calculation and it's gonna tell me how many hours till I'm dead right below the percentage. And it's got this little blue arc and that blue arc is just gonna kinda tell me um, if I'm depleting, how I'm depleting on top of the percentage, you can see the blue bars go backwards or go forwards if it's recharging. On this side, I've got my output watt hours and that's about it. Um, it's clean. Uh, when we go over the DC side, not only does it have that cigarette plug, but you also have two USBs and we have a USB-C, which is rated at 100 watt hours, which is awesome. Everything's coming fast charging. I love the ability that Blue Yeti put the fast charging abilities in for the USB. So that's pretty handy. Um, we've been testing this for a couple of months now. Absolutely love it. It's small, it's compact. I've run our little micro heater for our teardrop, our small little heater in our space for heating up our camper before bed. And when we get up in the morning and it's cold, we'll run it and plug it into the Blue Yeti and you know, run it 20 minutes, run it 20 minutes in the morning, you're down 10, 15%, somewhere in that area. Um, it's not taking a large chunk. It can easily handle it. Doesn't wind up and make noise. Uh, you hear a little bit of a fan whine, but not nearly as bad as I've heard uh, from other units. 
this is fairly quiet as far as the fans running. Um, outside of that, what are my cons? Well, my cons, one of the biggest cons that I see with the Blue Yeti, I'm gonna give the cons first, is guys, when you go to order it, make sure you order a 12 volt cigarette plug. This 12 volt adapter here does not come standard in the package of the Blue Yeti. Only a household 120 AC comes with it. I thought that was a little crazy, but I contacted Blue Yeti and they said, nope, they do not standardly send a 12 volt um, car adapter, which, hmm, I need a car adapter. I'm off grid camping, everything runs on 12 volt. I need a car adapter. The household core doesn't do me a whole lot of good in your vehicle unless you ha are fortunate enough to have a newer vehicle that has a 120 adapter built into your car. So make sure if you go and purchase this unit that you purchase a 12 volt uh, adapter, power adapter. Otherwise you will be stuck, uh, kind of like we were. So um, that's one of my cons. The, the other con is, it, it, maybe it's a glitch, I don't know, but the first time I plugged in this bullet connector here for the 12 volt DC side and I was running it, uh, it wouldn't go up to 100% charge. It'd stop at 92. I could not figure out what was going on. I plugged in the 120 and sat there for a while. And after a period of time, the 120 was not charging. There was no input on the screen. So uh, this button here is kind of the center power button. I kind of held that down. And if you hold that down for a period of time, you'll get you'll hear like a little click and the whole unit powers down. And then I recycled it. And then I plugged back in my 12 volt cord and it worked. And I plugged in my 120 and it worked. So a glitch, a hiccup, I don't know what I did. Um, but just plugging this in, plugging in 12 volt, I actually thought I had maybe a 12 volt cigarette plug on the other end in my trailer connection. So I thought that was the problem. Um, the fuse in here was good. Could not figure out why it decided to hiccup. That's my, my only glitch with this. But the main thing I've been using it for outside of we, our camping trips is I've been using it in the garage. It works really good as a radio power bank system. So I take my phone so I don't kill this if I'm working in the garage all night or I'm working all day on a Saturday. I'll take my phone, I'll set it up here and start some music. I'll take my little Yui Boom micro speaker. I'll set that up next to the power station. I will run a cord to the speaker so that stays hot all the time. My phone stays hot all the time, doesn't draw down. I turn on the DC side and I've got myself my own little boom box. Absolutely love it for that. I've been using it in the garage all the time like that. And then when we go camping, this is the first guy I grab, throw it in the back of the hiker and we put it right up against the back wall so that we can easily connect devices overnight or plug in the heater and that kind of thing. And it's worked out well. So. Um, outside of that, like I said, fast charging. So 80% in 30 minutes, it fast charges really quickly. Um, I haven't had any issues with recharging it back up. Um, yes, it is a little bit on the smaller side and I do like that because of the convenient carry handle and how lightweight it is. Some of these things are getting to be astronomical in the weight, how heavy they are. And honestly, do you need that big a power bank? You gotta really look at your needs overall what kind of items you're running. This thing here has a 1200 watt surge ability. So that fire up of that heavier draw item with a small blender, a mini rice cooker, um, you're running a small fridge, whatever it is, that little power draw, that kick on, that cycle up, this thing can handle it. And then that 600 watt um, surge, or that 600 watt pure sign inverter then can be able to handle outputting the power evenly. So we love it. This is a great little unit, it's compact. Uh, we're gonna keep our eye on the little power cycling issue, see if we still continue to have issues with that. Um, this will run on solar panels. You can get a set of solar panels for it and it's got solar panel inputs and you can run the solar panels plus AC charging at the same time, charge it faster. Um, you can do different combinations. You can do the 12 volt and solar panels. Um, you can do different things to get it fully charged. But this is a great little unit, guys. i really enjoying it. So if you guys got any questions, put them down in the comments. Love to get a discussion going. Thanks for watching. And like I always say, make sure you guys get out and do a little camping. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks.
If you're considering purchasing, check out my link in the description box below for the Blue Yeti EB3A Portable Power Station.